Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Do you feel pain? Did you know that pain can be a sign that you have high cholesterol? Find out in today's video. High cholesterol usually has no symptoms, but there are exceptions, did you know? Persistently high cholesterol can clog arteries, which in turn causes pain in certain areas of the body. Curious, isn't it? Do you have high cholesterol? Cholesterol is necessary for the formation of healthy cells, but if it's too high, it can disrupt the body's balance and cause a number of health problems. Unfortunately, the symptoms of high cholesterol don't show up until the damage has already been done. When certain arteries are clogged by cholesterol, the parts of the body connected to them may feel pain. For example, if the arteries in the legs are clogged, it can cause pain when walking. Enjoying the video? Then give it a like and share it with your friends. In addition, high cholesterol is also related to age, weight, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Factors that increase cholesterol levels, in addition to hereditary predisposition, are gender, obesity, poor diet, alcohol consumption, smoking, lack of exercise, etc. Unfortunately, these symptoms usually appear after the damage has already been done. The problem is that the only way to detect the disease is regular blood tests. If you've been diagnosed with high cholesterol, it's important to change your lifestyle to reduce the risk of heart attack or stroke. Also, quitting smoking is one of the most important changes you should make for your health. It's important to replace saturated fats, as in butter, lard, fatty meats and cheese, and trans fats with unsaturated fats. If you're male and between 19 and 64 years old, you should limit your saturated fat intake to 30 grams per day. If you're a woman, your intake shouldn't exceed 20 grams per day. Also include good sources of unsaturated fats in your diet, such as vegetable oils like olive oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, canola oil, walnuts, and seed oils. Don't forget to add avocados to your diet, too. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.